Now by the end of this section you will understand what forex trading is, you will understand how to trade the forex market, you will understand that the forex market moves just like any other market, you will learn the different types of orders used in forex trading, you will learn how to place a trade on the forex market, you will learn how you can earn money trading forex and you will gain an understanding of how you can protect yourself should the trade not go your way. Now Forex stands for Foreign Exchange and the Forex market is the largest financial market with over $5.3 trillion traded daily. Forex market is way larger than the stock market. And the Forex market is comprised of over 4,500 banks worldwide and currencies are traded through a broker and traded in pairs. For example, we have the EURUSD pair, we have the British Pound JPY pair and we have the Australian Dollar USD pair. So currencies are traded through a broker and are traded in pairs. The Forex market until 1995 was not accessible by small investors. Only banks and large network investors had access to the Forex market. Okay? There are six major currency pairs. We have the Euro USD, the GBP USD, USD Swiss, USD JPY, USD CAD, and we have the Australian dollar USD. Okay, so these are the six most traded currency pairs. No, there are over 60 different currency pairs. But these currency pairs are the most traded currency pairs. Now the forex market have very deep liquidity. The forex market is the most liquid market there is. So 24 hours a day, there are trading opportunities in the forex market. You can trade at any time of the day. The forex market is so it's open 24 hours a day and it's extremely liquid so you can trade at any given time. Now the forex market is also accessible from anywhere in the world. So it doesn't matter where you are located, you can trade on the forex market. Okay, so let's say the US dollar is expected to weaken in value relative to the euro. A forex trader in this situation will use his dollars to buy euros. If the euro strengthens, the purchasing power to buy dollars has now increased. The trader can now use the euros to buy back more dollars than they had to begin with, making a profit. So this is essentially what forex trading is. It is trading one currency pair so it is trading one currency against another currency. So if we believe the euro will rise in relation to the US dollar, we would buy the euro USD currency pair. And if we think the euro would fall in relation to the US dollar, we would sell the euro USD currency pair. So that's essentially what forex trading is. It is trading one currency pair in relation to another. So if we believe that the pound will rise in relation to the Japanese dollar, we would buy the GBP JPY. Okay? So that is essentially what forex trading is.